Hey guys, how you doing today? I am super duper sick at the moment, so I'm just at home camping in my bed. And I just thought I'd take a break from playing Game of Thrones Ascension and do something productive. <laughs> so, something happened to me in the last couple of days, and that is that my clearomizer is officially kaput. I uh, noticed a couple of things about it that was really obvious that um, it had died, so I just want to let you guys know how to recognize some of the things uh, that might let you know when your tank needs to be changed. So a little while ago I made a video called Vaping Derp, and that was about how I poured e-juice into the connector here and got liquid in the air hole just there. That caused some minor problems for me. I uh, when I was inhaling, there'd be a slight bubble to it, and the airflow wasn't quite as easy as it was before. And some people mentioned to me, uh, just trying to help, saying that it was probably my tank that was the actual issue, and that it might need replacing by now. Um, however, one of the things to look out for when your tank is dying is uh, a few things like flavor production and vapor production. Now, when I poured juice into my connector, there wasn't really an issue with anything except for the airflow and the slight bubbling noise. That was the thing that resolved itself anyway, and I was pretty sure at that time that my tank was still kicking along and perfectly fine, whereas now I know for sure that this is dead. So here's what I've noticed in the last couple of days, and that is that flavor, gone. It's gone. I've gone through a few different flavors, and I'm back on my original strawberry at the moment, and you can barely taste anything. You have, you'd have no idea what this is, basically. So, flavor is shot. Flavor, oh sorry, not flavor, vapor production is significantly reduced as well. <coughs> um, I'll give you a little demonstration. It's a little bit harsh for me at the moment, being all sick and stuff. But um, yeah, you'll be able to see that the vapor is now really thin. You can't take a deep draw to fix it either. It's just how the vapor is now. It's just thin. So, I'll give you a look. See, that's like hardly anything, you know. Um, something else is that there is now a distinctly acrid sort of burnt flavor to it now as well. Uh, so that's what flavor you do get. It's kind of gross. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the camera. But no, you can't see it. The wick as well up the top has gone uh, where it's entering into the chamber. It's got a brown sort of caramelized look to it. Um, so yeah, that sort of tells me it's singed and a little bit burnt. So yeah, they're the things that you can look out for that will definitely tell you that your tank needs to be replaced. So mine's a CE4 clearomizer and the flavor is gone. There is an acrid burnt sort of flavor to it. Uh, the vapor production is significantly down and the wick itself where it's entering the chamber has a, a brown sort of singed look to it. So yeah, they're the things that you can look out for that tell you that you need to replace this thing right now. Some, some tanks are rebuildable or at least you could take them apart and clean them. This one is neither of those things. Sometimes you'll be able to detach this little ring here. You'll be able to pull it out and give the wick a rinse. This one is not. It's just completely a unit like this and it needs to just be chucked out and replaced. So can't clean mine, can't rebuild anything, blah blah blah. I've got a pro tank coming in the mail, a Kanga mini pro tank. So can't wait to get that one because I miss using my vape. I haven't really touched it in the last two days because it's just it's not really any good at the moment. Um, so yeah, I got the Kanga coming. I've also got some Dekang juice that I want to do a review for because I haven't seen many reviews for Dekang. Um, so I think that'll be really helpful for some people. And yeah, still waiting on my Ego C twist to arrive. So really stoked about that. Um, so yeah, just one quick word of advice. If you guys are after replaceable tanks, um, I've got a link in the description below to Virgin Vapor. I found they're really quite cheap. Their customer service is excellent. So you can have a look at them. There's disposables and there's also heaps of other kind of tanks that are rebuildable and you know they've got a fairly uh, big variety of stuff just at a really good price. 
All right, so I'll let you guys go, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys again really soon, though, with a, a Decang review or something. So, yeah, catch you around.